sorry, Vancouver East. East. Vancouver East. I'm, I will get it. Vancouver East. Thank you. Thank you very much. I know it's short and it's simple. Vancouver East. Van East, if you like to, Madam uh, Speaker. Um, I want to thank my colleague uh, for his excellent speech and for the sub-amendment. It is particularly important for the people of Vancouver East on all of the issues that he highlighted, whether it be on the issue around climate emergency, on the issue around housing, on the issue around universal pharmacare, more affordability for people, uh, and so on. Now, one of the issues that he highlighted in the speech was about the climate, climate emergency. And often people will say that... Um, the government will say, in fact, we saw in the throne speech that they are going to be dealing with this issue. But yet, this is a government that actually bought a pipeline. This is a government that has actually not tackled the subsidies for the fossil fuel industry. We know, according to the IMF, that to the tune of $60 billion every year is how much Canada is subsidizing the fossil fuel industry. We know that the government is not tackling the loopholes uh, with respect to the tax loopholes for the wealthiest and the biggest corporations, if they did that, we could actually save some $10 billion per year. And so my question to my colleague is this, um, would he advocate for the government to once and for all to take the climate emergency seriously and first and foremost undertake action to reduce the subsidies for the fossil fuel industry? For Hamilton Center. Thank you much, Madam Speaker, and what an incredible question I have to say that uh, not only will we advocate for it, but if you were to look at the amount of money that are put in the subsidies for oil and gas, if we can imagine a compelling alternative for transit to shift to a carbon-free economy, we only have to look to our national transit strategy that would offer predictable and sustainable operational funding to public transit that would be expanded, not just east and west, Madam Speaker, but also north and south. We have heard quite compelling stories around missing and murdered Indigenous women, and we know that if we provide north and south connectivity between isolated communities through good public reliable safe public transit madam speaker that we can reduce those highways of tears and so not only is this just a shift from subsidies but we have the money there that we can invest in a very ambitious national nationalized transit strategy madam speaker